The golden crate is a special crate that can be purchased with 50,000 coins. When opened, it will give a random golden skin with golden perks for a tower. Golden perks are much stronger than regular skins, so they can give you a big advantage. But getting 50,000 coins can be very frustrating, because if we calculate it, you need to beat Molten 100 times, which takes about 20 hours of grinding, which is way too much. So here are 5 tips and tricks, and after the tips, I'll show you my rankings for each golden skin. The first tip is to play special game modes. These game modes have modifiers that increase the amount of money you can earn. For example, in the pizza party game mode, you can earn more kinds than in other game modes such as Fallen and Molten. Best game modes to play for grinding coins include pizza party and Badlands, since they are fast and give a lot of coins. However, pizza party is much easier to speedrun with strategies. And we got to tip number 2, use strategies. There are a number of strategies that you can use to grind for coins. They are fast and ensure 100% win rate so you don't have to worry about thinking about the strategy yourself. But they often require golden or hardcore towers. And tip number 3, use the party queue channel in the official TDS Discord. This channel is a great place to find other people who are also trying to grind for golden crates. You can team up with people and grind for coins much faster and easily. You can also do strategies that let you beat special game modes very quickly. Like beating Badlands in under 18 minutes, which provides more than 4000 coins per hour. The next tip is to play with friends. Playing with friends is a really great way to beat difficult game modes faster while you have more fun. And the last tip is to experiment with loadouts. If you are like me and you have a lot of towers you can choose from a variety of good towers. So let's start with my ranking. Just keep in mind it's my opinion so it can be different in your opinion. So in the 6th place we have the golden pyromancer. It's not as useful anymore since regular Pyromancer is almost the same, while only being slightly worse. And the fifth place we have Golden Cowboy. Since it's nerf, it can't replace form completely, so you need to use forms to get a lot of money for enough late game towers. On the fourth place we have Golden Minigunner. The Golden Minigunner is a great tower, but you need to spam it for it to be good and it takes a lot of placement limit. I chose to put the golden minigunner on the 4th spot since other DPS towers can outclass it easily. On the 3rd spot we have Crook Bus. It has the highest cost efficiency in the whole game, but what really stops it from shining is its 4 placement limit. It's also the most cost efficient tower for early game since it doesn't cost a lot to do high damage so it allows you to form more. On the 2nd spot we have Golden Soldier. It's a very good tower for early game in spatial modes, such as hardcore as it can detect buff hidden and flying enemies on level 2. And the best golden tower is the golden scout. It is a very good tower for early game and its upgrades are very cheap. And one level 3 golden scout which costs around 2300 can handle wave 10 abnormal bus easily. If you want to learn how to farm correctly click here, catch you there.